if you just break the word down, you have three words there. You have net, you have work, and you have marketing. You know, so it really is relationship marketing. It's built on powerful relationships, moving services, being distributed by the people. You know, and it's just, you know, it, does, it doesn't matter. It's, it's taking it from the brick and mortar and allowing people to do it from, uh, from, their, from their living room, from their home, or from, you know, having portability, being able to move a, a, a business, um, of being able to move, whether it is uh, vitamins, whether it is clothes, whether it is essential services, whatever it may be, you know, I mean, there's not one thing under the sun that you purchase today that you can't get through the stream of network marketing that allows an average person to live an extraordinary life. Uh, I just believe that, the, the, you know, people don't like change, but unfortunately you went from uh, depending on the post office to email, you know, you went from sticking in a VHS tape to now streaming on Netflix. So the only thing that is permanent in this life outside of your birthday and your death day and your taxes is change, you know, and this is the new, new wave, especially in the, you know, demographic we live in, in regards to the health climate, in regards to the economic climate, and in regards to the changing of the guard as far as leadership in every country is understanding how to allow individuals to take greater ownership of their own life is to be able to identify and find something that they can believe in, someone that they can believe in, in order to create their own economic robust machine uh, without having to rely on the old guard in regards to uh, you know, a job, in regards to somebody employing them. First of all, nobody's been working for the last year. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. you know, I mean, you look at the restaurant business, you look at uh, every 24 hour fitness, you look at uh, waiters and waitresses and uh, the common person does not even have a way of being able to support themselves, but is forced to, and that's the one thing about the human race, we will find a way. So everything that people actually um, look down upon or, you know, had an opinion about, or, uh, you know, it, it's amazing to be able to say, you know, if you offered somebody not even 10 years ago, but five years ago, hey, you know, I have an opportunity to work from home. And they'd be like, oh, okay, is it one of those things? Now everybody's working from home. So what, you know, it's like you're forced to accept uh, the unavoidable. So that's what network marketing is nothing more than learning how to market yourself um, to be able to move services, products, products, or whatever you're moving, you know, in a way that, I mean, you look at what has happened with amazon.com, Alibaba, uh, that has completely broken the entire retail chain of stores and put out so many businesses I could use name upon name. So that's all it is. It's just really redirecting the flow of money back into your own hands for people who have the fortitude to move into a space of entrepreneurship. And so many are forced to do so. But when you go back in time, that's how everything started, whether you were trading beavers or whether you were trading, you know, or you open up a flower shop or whether you were putting a, you know, um, iron on the hoof of a horse, everybody owned their own business, you know, and it just kept growing. It went into, uh, you know, the manufacturing and the industrial ages came about and the computer now, you know, has came about and completely changed everything. It's like, well, what is this AOL now? You know, it's like, I, I can still remember less than five years ago, if, if not a little bit within the last decade of people consistently saying, I'm not computer literate. And today, if you aren't computer literate, you are illiterate because everything is being done. You just, I mean, I don't, when you look at something like, um, when you look at something like, um, you know, amazon.com, it literally last year and the year before that, I remember the stat, the year before that, 78% of the people that bought gifts for people in Christmas in stores were buying them all online. So it just makes sense that to have an online business, if that's where you're spending 98% of your time, uh, your kids and everybody are on Netflix, you got the Disney station, you have um, Amazon.com, you have eBay, you have all of these different ways in which to be able to, you have Uber Eats, you have, you deliver your food, uh, you're delivering your gifts, you're delivering, everything is being done in an online business. So your banking is being online. You have, you know, it's being done by, you know, e-transfers, your money is being transferred by money uh, online. So 
doesn't it make sense that if 95, 8% of your time is being done online, that you figure out how to have a business online instead of all your money going out through online, that you reverse the flow and learn how to have money come in online. And that is uh, the basis right now and the foundation for the trajectory of where we are and where we're going at a very light speed pace uh, as we move deeper into this 21st century. You're seeing a, a shift with the power back to the people. You're seeing that with Airbnb, um, again, where they, they don't own any hotel chains with Uber, not owning any, any uh, taxis. Uh, you're seeing it with Amazon, not owning any stores. So you're seeing the power back to the people. 